Get ready to tee off with Danielle Grace Kang, the formidable force taking the golf world by storm. Since childhood, Kang's love for the sport has been noticeable, and her undeniable talent has only grown with time. She's a true icon in the making, winning the illustrious U.S. Women's Amateur not once, but twice, in back-to-back -back victories that cemented her status as a rising star. This golf sensation was born to her mother, Grace Lee, and K.S. Kang, her father, who has since passed away. She has a younger brother named Alex. The crowning moment of Kang's career came in 2017 when she seized victory at the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. This coveted LPGA major trophy was a testament to her unwavering grit, hard work, and natural talent. And with her powerful swing and unbreakable focus, she's inspiring a new generation of young women to chase their dreams with fearless tenacity. Imagine being a 14-year-old and competing in one of the biggest tournaments in women's golf. Well, that's exactly what Danielle Grace Kang did when she qualified for the U.S. Women's Open in 2007. Her natural talent and passion for the sport were undeniable, and she quickly became a force to be reckoned with. After attending Oak Park High School, Kang transferred to Westlake High School early to start college at Pepperdine University in Malibu. She played on the Pepperdine golf team and showed incredible promise as a player. However, she was deemed academically ineligible to compete in the 2011 NCAA postseason, but that didn't deter her from her goals. In 2010, Kang won the U.S. Women's Amateur and went on to compete in all four majors as an amateur in 2011. She made the cut in three of the majors, including the LPGA Championship, where she was the only non-professional in the field. If you thought you'd seen anything better, Kang won the U.S. Women's Amateur again in 2011, becoming the first player in 15 years to win consecutive titles. As a junior golfer, Kang played extensively with the Southern California PGA Junior Tour alongside fellow SC PGA alums like Lizette Salas and Brianna Doe. A young and determined Danielle Kang stepped onto the green, ready to tackle her first professional tournament at the Walmart Northwest Arkansas Championship. Despite missing the cut, she refused to be defeated. With grit and hard work, she persevered through the stages of the LPGA qualifying school and earned her place on the tour in 2012. From there, Kang soared, making 13 cuts and earning over $200,000 in her rookie year. It was only a matter of time before she claimed her first LPGA Tour win at the 2017 KPMG Women's PGA Championship and, soon after, her second victory at the Buick LPGA Shanghai Tournament in 2018. Kang said, I hope I win more. I did the best I can. I'm going to keep working hard and giving myself chances to keep putting myself in contention. I'll win more. I'll play better. Kang's journey to success wasn't always smooth sailing. In 2020, she faced an unprecedented hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but when she returned to the course, she did so with a vengeance, claiming not one, but two more LPGA Tour victories at the LPGA Drive-On Championship and the Marathon Classic. And let's not forget her impressive accomplishment of winning the 2020 Vare Trophy for the lowest scoring average on the LPGA Tour. At the end of the round, she looked at her caddy and said, We won the Vare. This one feels like a really good mark in my career, that I was able to do it and accomplish it. I can look back on the 2020 season and at the Vare Trophy, and that's part of it. But Kang's journey wasn't all sunshine and roses. In 2022, she faced a major setback when she announced she had a tumor on her spine after the U.S. Women's Open. However, she refused to let this obstacle deter her from playing, and after receiving treatment, she returned to the course at the CP Women's Open. Talk about hitting the jackpot! When it comes to prizes, Danielle Kang certainly knows how to make the most of her victories. At a tournament where most players are thrilled just to take home a trophy and a check, Kang went above and beyond by winning not one, but two luxury cars with just two swings. First, she earned a Buick LaCrosse with her first swing. And then, with her second, she sealed the deal by winning an Audi A6 T2.0, and happily, she described what it felt like to win. Kang mentioned that being that golfer who keeps winning cars just feels blessed. What do you get when you combine two talented golfers, a luxurious golf club, and the city of sin? A love story that's straight out of a fairy tale, that's what. Danielle Kang and Maverick McNeely, two of the most promising names in the sport, found love in the greens of Las Vegas, their place of residence. It all began in 2019 at the Summit Club, an exclusive golf club in the heart of Sin City, where sparks flew between the two. 
and since then, their romance has only blossomed, with their shared passion for golf serving as the foundation of their relationship. McNeely, a former number one in the world amateur golf ranking, is a force to be reckoned with on the PGA Tour, having turned pro in 2017. Armed with a management science and engineering degree from the prestigious Stanford University, he brings brains and brawn to the sport, just like his lady love. Maverick McNeely can claim to be the richest on the green, but not because he has the most endorsements or wins, but because he stands to inherit a $950 million fortune from his dad Scott McNeely, who was a businessman. Maverick has only earned over $7 million since he started his career. Kang, on the other hand, has earned over $8 million. They both live in Maverick's home in Las Vegas. Kang speaks fondly of her beau, calling him a sweetheart and expressing her deep admiration for him. Meanwhile, McNeely remains humbled by Kang's success, acknowledging that he has a lot of work to do to achieve the same heights as his girlfriend. Las Vegas may be where she lives, but Danielle Kang finds home in the company of good friends. After winning the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions in January last year, Kang turned her sights to the Gainbridge LPGA at Boca Rio, but not before spending a night or two among her chosen family. Kang sought refuge with the Gretzkys, Wayne and Janet, who now have a place in West Palm Beach. Describing her neighbors, Kang had this to say, I'm going to say that I went home because the Gretzkys now live in Florida, and they're like my second family. I played golf with them in the morning on Tuesday, and it was Wayne's birthday yesterday, so we had hibachi. I just like seeing family. They kind of reground me, and it doesn't feel like I've been on the road for a couple weeks already. As a five-time LPGA Tour champion, Kang was selected as one of the four MGM Resorts ambassadors to participate in the 64-player Bank of Hope LPGA match play field in 2021. Alongside her were fellow golfers Natalie Gulbus, Allison Lee, and Anna Nordqvist. During her media availability, Kang spoke highly of the tournament sponsors and expressed gratitude for their support. Danielle Kang's career trajectory has been nothing short of impressive since her breakthrough win at the 2017 KPMG Women's PGA Championship. With each passing season, she has improved her game and climbed up the ranks in the world of golf. Today, she stands tall as the 8th best female golfer on the planet, a remarkable feat for someone who started playing golf at 12. Did you know that Kang has tattoos? One that stands out as the most meaningful is the word ABBA on the palm of her right hand written in her late father's handwriting. I got one when I was 17. My parents used to always tell me to just be myself, just be whoever I want, just be whatever I want to be. Kang believes her tattoos are a way to keep her father's memory alive and present in her life. She lost her dad to cancer in 2013, but with his handwriting forever etched on her skin. Now, every time Kang shakes someone's hand, they're also meeting her dad. It's a powerful reminder of the love and support that she received from him throughout her life. For Kang, her tattoos are more than just body art. They're a way to express herself and honor those who have impacted her life. When Danielle Kang lost her father to cancer in 2013, she struggled to cope, but she found solace in writing. She started a journal just for him, a place where she could talk to him and keep his memory alive. It was a way to continue their conversations, to share her life with him even though he was no longer with her. And it was in this journal that Kang wrote a heartfelt message to her father just before her historic win at the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. She wrote, We can do it, to him, a message of encouragement and love that helped her overcome the nerves and pressure of the tournament. And when she lifted the trophy, she knew he was with her, watching and smiling. Kang says that she still writes in her journal every day, sometimes filling it with the simplest things, like what she ate for breakfast or the weather outside. But it's also a place where she can talk to her father, share her thoughts and feelings, and keep his memory alive. If you enjoyed this video about Danielle King's extraordinary lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below, because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there!